If you want to run Android apps on Windows 11, you're going to need the Windows subsystem for Android. My name is Yudullah, you're watching Android Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can install WSA on Windows 11. Now the first step to installing WSA on Windows 11 is actually opening up your task manager. So go ahead and press Windows key plus X to open up the quick access menu and then click on task manager. In here, go to the details tab actually performance tab rather and uh, check whether under cpu your virtualization status is enabled if you see disabled here what you need to do is uh, look for uh, enable windows features or turn windows features on and off uh, this setting right here click on it and in this list scroll down until you find the virtual machine platform make sure that it's enabled uh, click OK. Uh, if it isn't enabled, uh, it will be installed as a Windows update, so you may need to restart your PC after this step. Once this is done, you can just head over to the Microsoft Store. Once you do that, you will come across uh, a bunch of tools that you can use to install and run APKs natively because Windows Subsystem for Android automatically comes installed when you are Windows. Um, now, uh, you can use either of these or if you want to use the native method what you can do is uh, open up your web browser and head over to this link that i'm providing to you in the description below so once you're on the page and the website has opened what i need you to do is head over to this button and select product id and then you can paste uh, this product id as shown here now this will be available in the description so you can just copy it from there and then go ahead and click generate temporary links or this check mark button. Wait for a moment as it populates links from the Microsoft Store. And if you go all the way down, you will see all of the different WSA links show up. So we're just going to go ahead and download the MSIX bundle for the latest app. As you can see, it's 1.37 GB. Give or take. So we're going to go and click on this. And uh, it should automatically start downloading if it doesn't start downloading uh, you can just copy the link address create a new tab press enter and uh, the download should appear now go ahead and click save and wait for the download to finish while this is downloading let me show you how you're going to install it so what you need to do is first head over to the directory where you're downloading as you can see this is the unconfirmed chrome download file which is the app package what we need to do is uh, right click and click on uh, open in terminal. So this opens up the terminal in whatever directory you're installing your uh, downloading your app package file is. In here, now we're going to run a command which is appx package path and then this is going where you're going to enter the package name so if i go back to my browser and click on the download link as you can see this is the name with which the package is being downloaded or uh, right here as you can see you can copy this entire name or once the file has downloaded you can copy that and put that name here so this will be your uh, microsoft store to windows subsystem for android or something like that whatever the name of a download package is once you're there uh, run this command and uh, windows subsystem for android will be manually installed on your system that's it if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video